guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to gift guide week now i know it's a sunday so i don't really know if we can call this gift guide week however the next consecutive four videos including today are going to be my gift guides for 2021 so i have today the christmas gift guide for him on tuesday i'm going to be uploading the gift guide for her and then on thursday it's going to be stocking fillers secret santa little bits like that and then on sunday we have a mahusive gift guide supporting smaller businesses today however is all about the men in your life whether it be brothers uncles fathers boyfriends husbands whoever it may be for hopefully today's video is going to give you an insight into some suggestions and ideas for what you can buy for him for this year for christmas now i'm just going to say it any family members or friends that are watching my gift guide videos don't because you'll probably ruin the surprise of your gifts. So any family members, click off now. Any friends, click off now. And don't come back to my channel for at least a week. I do also try to include some different ideas to previous years. I have a couple of similar, but if you want even more suggestions, then I would recommend going back and watching my other previous gift guides from the last year, the year before, um, for some more suggestions and ideas. Do you like my little festive backdrop? This is from Balsam Hill, and I got these little pinecone decorations from TK Maxx, and then this little tree skirt is from B&M my little festive backdrop for this year in my filming room. We are also putting up the Christmas tree very soon. So I'm doing a whole decorate for Christmas with me video coming shortly. Anyway, let's get going with the gift guides and let's kick start the gift guides for him video with a brand called Manscaped. Now Manscaped is actually very kindly partnering with me on this video so I thought I would share with you a couple of the products that they do but I would definitely recommend checking out their website if you like that kind of tongue-in-cheek kind of brand. I mean it's a brand that is all based around men's grooming. Every man needs grooming products for Christmas. I feel like it's an essential to be completely honest with you. Firstly this which I thought would be a good little stocking filler. So this is called Manscaped The Shears 2.0 and on the back you can see exactly what is included. This just has different tools, nail clipping tools, tweezers and everything. This is what I mean by the name of this product. Amazing. The Weed Whacker. So this is a like nose hair and ear hair trimmer. I'm actually going to show you this one because probably just gonna keep this one for Tom so I'm not that bothered if I have to open it up because I actually want to show you how sleek minimal the kind of design is of these products I think it's really nice branding minimal all matte black very classy and cool it's just understated then they do actually sell a cologne as well so this is called refined the cologne again like how nice is the packaging again plain and simple matte black with like a little wooden lid I like to wear men's perfume how can I describe that? This clean, yeah, it's very clean scent. Then they do actually sell t-shirts and boxes. It just has the branding on. You can read that. <laughs> Men's grooming. So this is like the pièce de la resistance. If you really want to treat them, go all out. I would recommend getting this. You've got the Revive by Refreshing Ball Toner. <laughs> The deodorant, the actual boxes come in there as well, and then the accessories kit that comes with it. So this whole kit is called the Performance Package, which just includes everything, basically. So the actual body trimmer as well, the term that they refer to it, the lawn mower. Genius. All the formulations of the actual products are vegan, cruelty-free, dye-free, sulfate, and paraben-free as well. And what's more, I do actually have a discount for you guys to be able to purchase any of these products from their website. So I'll leave a direct link in the description box. It's manscaped.com forward slash Freya Farrington. There's no code needed. Once you click through via that link, the 20% off is automatically applied and you also get free shipping. So thank you to Manscaped for working with me on today's video i hope you guys enjoy the rest of my suggestions and ideas however men's grooming is an essential let's face it next up is something that i bought for tom last year and it was the lego james bond aston martin uh 
thing. Because he's into his cars, I decided last year to get go for the James Bond and I feel like it's fitting this year with the new movie, which have you seen it? I have, I loved it. Um, but if by the time of Christmas comes, if it's out on DVD, DVD, who buys DVDs anymore? If it's out on Amazon or something that you could purchase and maybe include like a little date night in hamper with popcorn and stuff. But we have definitely built up a bit of a collection. We've got the Mini, we've got the camper van, we've got the Ferrari and now that as well. So I did actually ask Tom for some suggestions for this video and one of the things he recommended and something that is new to his collection of things are these headphones. I feel like headphones are a great gift and again, you can suit your budget. You can go more affordable, you can go high end. These are the Apple AirPods Pro. No, they're the ones I've got. They're, they're AirPods, but they're obviously over the ear ones, noise cancelling, then they also have the transparency mode so you can actually hear what's going on while still wearing them. That's what I love about my AirPods, mine are the in-ear ones, which love, I would recommend those as well. And then he also purchased this from Amazon, I believe. So I'll try and leave links to everything included within this video in the description box, a headphone stand. So you have the base here and the wooden part is what sits your it sits like that and your headphones actually sit on it like that this is something else that tom has recently purchased it's a little stand for it's called the book arc for macbook it's a vertical desktop stand for space saving especially if they're using a bigger screen that plugs into this then this allows and you can see on the image on the back for the MacBook to just stand vertically to allow for a bit more space on your work surface. I am going to talk about these next. These are from Adidas. They are a pair of trainers. These are actually my ones, but Tom already has the sort of the men's version and he loves them. He has them in black and white. They are called the Ultra Boost trainers and I, I mean, I bought myself a pair of black and white as well. Great for like running errands, they're comfortable, they look nice. I think my favourite ones are the white ones, but I thought for men, black is probably a preferred colour. I don't know, Tom has both. They are so comfy. So any kind of pair of trainers or sneakers or like high tops, whatever they're into, I feel is a great gift idea. This is a fun little budget find I picked up from B&M. And it's a set of Horlicks. I was tempted to put this in my stocking filler Secret Santa gift guide coming up, but I feel like they're a bit bulkier and also maybe a good suggestion for like a Christmas Eve box. So this one has three sticks of the Horlicks chocolate, plus it comes with a little mini pack of marshmallows. And this is just the regular Horlicks. I love Horlicks. Okay, moving on to some chocolate. I picked this up from Cheshire Oaks, but anything from Hotel Chocolat is a treat. And I feel like it's justified at Christmas. So they have this, which I spotted, the festive wreath. I'm trying to show you on an angle so you don't get distracted by the ring light. But it is a milk chocolate, solid milk chocolate. This is heavy. Solid milk chocolate wreath packed with cookies and Florentines. Christmas for me is the time for gaming. Whether the man in your life is into Xbox or PlayStation games, board games are always a fun one. I bought this recently for my brother for his birthday and this is our version. So Cards Against Humanity is a fun party game for horrible people. So this one is probably a bit too risque to to share on this channel but they do actually have a family version as well i'm going to be taking this around to our family friends who we're going to for christmas day um and yeah i mean ages recommends 17 plus and time spent 30 to 90 minutes depending on how you want to play players 4 to 20 so you do have to play in a group next up we have something for their wardrobe if they're into fashion they're into organization i mean tom's not necessarily into organization but i did pick these ones up for him for christmas um, because he has obviously we've recently renovated the top two floors of our house and his kind of walk-in wardrobe area is looking all nice and neat he's got it perfect and so i got these kind of accessories for within his wardrobe so this is from Zara Home. It's a pack of, well, a pair 
of cedar shoe trees and they come in this gorgeous linen bag as well so again great for gifting zara home i feel like if you want to go that little bit extra i mean these are about 25 pounds so i'm just getting him the one set and if he wants to put them in all his shoes then you can he's more than happy to purchase more of them but yeah i just love the kind of finish of them they've got zara home embossed written there on the side i also picked up these for him i got myself some of these recently actually and love them so they are garment covers oh that's come off just need to slip that back on uh garment covers and they are essentially as it says little linen-y canvas covers that you can put over your suits dresses keep them protected and i just think they above all look really nice they actually have a hold all type one with leather handles which i think would make for a lovely gift they were 20 pounds for the pair but the ones with the leather handles that is like a suit carrier was 25 pounds next up if they are into sports golf in particular you can never go wrong with a pack of golf balls i actually picked up some tightless ones for my brother last year i got him like a variety of different ones it made me realize how expensive golf balls can be especially if your golfer man is one that slogs it and loses the ball i'm like they're expensive and then if i like tom your partner or whoever you're buying for is into cooking and into the kitchen then i found two items actually which i thought i would share with you that might be a good gift idea so this first one is from primark primark christmas gifting is amazing this year i have probably primark gifting in every gift guide coming up nine pounds this is a ravioli making kit it includes flour truffle oil or truffle oil a ravioli cutter and cooking instructions and then i also picked this up as a suggestion so this i got from amazon so inside the actual book itself is really nice and it's just a recipe book that you can fill in yourself so allows you to have this for years and years pass it down through generations and just fill with your kind of family recipes family hall of fame you can put some photos in there and um, it also has some suggestions on like spaghetti portion sizes cooking times finger tests for your steak cooking yeah i just love this and i think it would be great for someone who is into cooking and like to be in the kitchen i think that's what it comes down to when when um you talk about gifting for men other than the sort of like the grooming essentials the aftershave I feel like you've just got to find a man's hobby and roll with it so if they like travel i thought i would include this book as a recommendation so for one it's a gorgeous coffee table book for two it's fairly affordable i think it's only about 50, no 20 to 30 pounds and it's a gorgeous kind of linen finish with the black writing you can take this paper bit off and have it just plain and simple but it's a book called remote places to stay including the most unique hotels at the end of the world so if whoever you're purchasing for is into travel i think this is a great coffee table book but maybe also an inspiration for places to go and visit again one that i thought i would include within my stocking filler gift guide but decided to include it within this one i picked this one up i showed it in an m&s haul recently it's perfect for tom it goes with his room upstairs with the kind of forest green elements that we've got going on up there and also obviously it has a big barney on the front so adorable so this can be his office mug that he can have look at it I think of Barney. So yeah, M&S, £6 they do these mugs for. They have different dogs and colours. So it's perfect really that the Golden Retriever was in green. There are loads of, I suppose this could be within a small business gift guide, but loads of companies on Etsy that sell these kind of um, trays and incense holders. And this is again something Tom's mentioned about having it in his um, kind of office, walking wardrobe, whatever it is. And it's a little like ceramic, if I can open it, incense holder that you pop the incense, incense in there and you can just sit it on the tray. The um, actual incense that I bought for him to go with that is from John Lewis. I picked these ones up in Tech and Tonka. These smell amazing. I smell them already. 
Um, they're £4.95 per pack and in there you get 20 incense sticks. So this one is the Cedra wooden, woody kind of scent. Okay, for my brother this year, again, look away now if you're watching. I picked this one up for him and the, well, I got it from Selfridges, but I think you can get it from various places online. It's a set of Crystal Head Vodka, which you actually get the 70 centiliter vodka in there as well, but it comes with the little shot glasses, which are shaped in the shape of the skull head. It was 60 pounds for that set, but any kind of alcohol, champagne, whatever it may be, um, I feel like it's always a good gift to give. And then speaking of a drink, I also got this coffee set, again from Primark Gifting this year. How nice is like the packaging and branding of the Primark Gifting, I love it. So this is a coffee set, coffee filter papers you get in here, a set of them, and then you actually get this ginormous mug and the actual dripper, what's it called, the filter. Nine pounds this set was. Again, I picked this up for Tom, not really as a gift. He has it in his office already, but again, it goes with the element that I've got up there of that kind of forest green. And this is just a plain notebook, but any kind of notebook or journal, um, I feel like is a good gift idea, for, especially for someone like Tom who works from home quite often. It's from HomeSense made handmade in italy with a leather binder i also picked up this which i suppose would go with the crystal head vodka as a gift idea maybe classic cocktails classic and contemporary drinks to make at home this rrp is 10 pounds and in home bargains it's currently only 1.99 so i thought that was a good little bargain find and then the gift idea is a backpack of some sorts or a bag we actually bought a bag for tom last year we all chipped in and got him this really nice bennett winch one i should probably have included it within this gift guide but it featured in the latest James Bond movie, but it's really clever how it is like a leather hold or carry all, but the suit carrier wraps around the outside of it. So it's kind of pricey, it's very pricey. But we all sort of chipped in together to buy him that for Christmas last year, and he loves it. He uses it all the time whenever he goes away. I always love the Captain and Some ones. The, this one's actually mine, but we do have a black one for Tom. Um, well, in fact, I'm not even gonna bother getting it out, but it's a backpack. A backpack's a good idea. There we go. Last item to share with you, and this is actually an item that is exclusive to John Lewis. So if you wanna get your hands on it, you have to go to a John Lewis. Quality Street, the ultimate Christmas chocolate, am I right? It's just the essential. So in John Lewis, you can customize tin. Thomas Street. You can also fill it with whichever ones you want. So we always fight over one flavor in particular. And I swear the regular tins never have many of these flavors in. So, can you guess what flavor it is? Which quality street we fight over? The orange one. So I filled it entirely with these orange ones. However, you may also notice these ones. These are a flavor exclusive to John Lewis. So I did, I was just gonna do the whole tin with the orange, oh my God, that is just making me so happy. I was gonna do the whole tin filled with just the orange ones. But then when I saw these, the actual flavor of them, I think we're both gonna love. It's cream, creme caramel crisp, but it's not a creamy soft filling. It's kind of like similar to the texture of these ones where they're quite, hard with a crispy center so i just said can you just pop a handful of them in there as well but other than that it's full of orange ones a regular box of quality street is maybe eight pounds from the supermarket these ones are 12 pounds but you get more weight of the chocolate and you get the exact chocolate you want and then if you want it personalized for an extra three pounds so 15 pounds this was but i actually think it's well worth it because we always end up with loads of like toffee pennies we don't want the toffee pennies rather than getting two or three chocolate orange ones each we get an entire tin to share <laughs> i've bought it for thomas thomas street 
but I'm saying we're sharing it. So there we have it. That rounds off my 2021 gift guide, Christmas gift guide for him. I hope you guys picked up some new ideas. Don't forget to take advantage of the 20% off and free shipping discount with Manscaped. Again, link is left in the description box and in a pinned comment so you can click through. No code needed, automatically applied with using that link. Again, don't forget to look back on past previous videos that I have done for my gift guides because I have loads more suggestions and ideas for him along with my other gift guides as well from previous years. So stay tuned for my next one which is going to be the gift guide for her. I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up if you are a fan of the gift guides. They're probably my favourite videos ever to film all year. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all very very soon on Tuesday. Bye guys!